Hey guys, I was looking on the internet for an installation video for the tux mat on the Dodge 2500 and I didn't see one, so let's do one. So this is what I purchased, the tux mat, the ultimate car mat. And they're freaking nice. I mean, I've used WeatherTech, I've used the other ones, but these are, these are a little more bougie. I just wanted to do something different, tired of doing the same thing all the time, so tux mat. Now they come with the mat itself, let me back this up here, and then they come with a bunch of clips and stuff, so let's figure out, looks like, well, it's sticky back, that may be something like that. So let's go pop in the RAM and see what we can do. So the largest one for the 2500 is the back, the rear mat, and it's all one piece goes all the way across and I just all you do is literally just set it in here and then push down on it and it's got a nice curved edge this thing is is really really well fit and then you t I took and pulled this plastic up and just slid there's a little lip right here I just took and pulled that back put it in there push that back now I didn't pull up my side molding because these things some of them get brittle underneath so they're just hopefully the kids don't kick it if they do i'll pull the side molding up and put it in there but it looks like you could actually really pull apart your truck and tuck this thing in really deep but i don't know that thickness may hold these from seating all the way in so let me let me see what i can do on the front maybe we'll try that and see what we get but i mean that is a clean looking floor mat so once again i set this in here and uh, just start pushing around on it and it looks like I need to get one of those clips for over here I wanted to make sure we don't have any obstruction with the pedal I'm gonna probably push that aside let's see somebody with a big diesel hey buddy I got this clip pushed in I'm gonna get this one pushed in it doesn't push in like they do on the video that they show but uh, I'm going to rustle with that one, get it in, put a clip over there, and get it tight. But I did pull apart, I pulled this lip off and got it in there now. It fits good except for back here. I got a little little gap and it doesn't matter how much you want to push it in there, it keeps popping back up. So this might be a little thick to go underneath here. So I would not recommend pulling that out and putting it under there. But it's an option. Um, I don't know, it didn't work for me, it may work for you. Well, let's see if we can get this thing tucked the rest of the way in. <laughs> let's throw the passenger side in here and see if this, uh, how this fits. So, just kind of chuck it down in there. Yeet. I'll slide the seat back all the way. All right, what do we got? All right, pull up on the top. Ooh, yeet down on the back let's get this see if this will go through on this side the other side I can't get this back one in Yeet. there come on it keeps getting caught on that thing well, let's see can we get this side in maybe that'll help maybe so maybe not not sure Ugh. they're definitely Sturdy mats. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to play with that for a second. And then it's got this little guy here. So let me let me set the camera down here. Get this thing tucked in a little bit. <laughs> Tucks, get it. And we'll go from there. After playing around for a minute, I just popped this panel off and uh, tucked it right up under there. And then got this popped through. Got this one popped through. That's not bad, not too bad a fit. There's a little little play here. And I have these, they're Velcro on the back and it clips on here. But this, unless I clean it with alcohol and really get it clean, it's just gonna fall off. And with Arizona heat that I have, they stand no chance. Now there are some clips that, that hook underneath where this meets the carpet, but these are too tall for those to fit. So I may pop this up and see if I can just tuck this whole thing up underneath here. but. Well, oh, I'm not sure. Still, they're a very nice mat. I just think there's a little, a little improvement that can be done. 
small tip if you're putting these in this ram get yourself one of these here uh super tools uh panel popper and just pull out on this and stuff just keep stuffing until you get it up in there and actually is a really nice nice fit now in comparison to what it was without tucking it up in there so yeah not too bad back to the driver's side well after a fist fight i actually got this pushed down with my popper tool and got it seated in there and then i pulled out these and shoved it way up under there tucked it all the way in up here and around there so now it's not interfering with our gas pedals we got plenty of room in between there so yeah this is uh the tux mat i mean once they're in they are very pretty but definitely uh get your big boy muscles on when you go to put them in nice product though overall thoughts on the tux mats very high quality product very well built um I think if you could possibly add a QR code or something to the install video per type of vehicle that they're being ordered for, that'd be a huge help. And um, suggest using a pry tool. Get your panel popper tools ready to go. But uh, Tux, you got a good product. Uh, I'm going to try it out here for about a year, and then I'll do another review and see if they held up or if there's any other improvements we could do. But appreciate you guys watching. Go get you some tux mats, see what you think. Let me know in the comments.